I'm going to show you my technique of cutting a flying wing out of EPP foam. I use 1.3 pound density foam. It's one and a half inches thick. I start by tracing out the shape of the wing onto the foam and then cutting it with a blade. And this is what it looks like. Then we take a metal plate that you can find at your local store and trace out your templates onto it. Cut them out with scissors and then we're going to attach them to the end of each side with Super 77 adhesive spray. Use some pins as well. And then we go to hot wire cut it. And you can repeat the process with the Super 77 onto the template or the foam itself. Repeat that on both ends. Make sure it's securely on the foam so it doesn't move around while you're cutting it. Once the templates are onto the foam, we're going to put something heavy on top of the piece of foam so it doesn't move around while we're cutting it. Now notice on this cut I'm going to snap the wire because I'm using a weak guitar string wire and that was just too weak and it melted. So I had to finish the job the next day. I replaced the wire with a fishing wire. I think it was 70 pound fishing wire and it works really well. I'm now putting a four cell battery on it and it cuts a lot faster and it works really well. Once you're done cutting you peel off the excess pieces of foam and we're going to finish it off with some sanding. So once this is nice and smooth we're gonna work on the motor mount. I use a aluminum bracket. We're gonna trace out some holes for the motor mount and this is really up to you. There's many ways to do it. You don't have to use this bracket. This is just what I did that works for me. I'm marking off the excess pieces that I'm going to cut off. And make sure to use some eye protection. Actually, let me show you. This is where it's going to attach to the back of the wing with some Gorilla Glue. And you can see on this wing, this is the finished product. So now let's take some, take a grinder to it. Yeah, make sure you use at least some kind of eye protection. There's a lot of metal pieces that are going to fly around if this is the way you're going to do it. Make sure it's nicely cleaned up so there's nothing that can cut you while you're handling it. Once I'm done grinding it, we're going to take it and we're going to use a file to further smoothen the edges. Once it looks okay, we're going to drill the holes that we marked earlier. And then you can also cut out a section for the blunt nose where you're going to mount your electronics. And this is where I'm going to stop the video. Um, if there's enough interest, I'll make a part two. Thanks for watching.